So people are wanting to remove text from a PNG or a JPEG file that they have. Um, and they're trying to do it in Create. And Create is more of a vector um, program, which as far as cutting goes, means that it creates the cut lines, okay? And when you import a PNG that has an image or a JPEG file that has an image, those are raster images, not vector images, okay, or objects. So when editing PNG files and JPEG files, that really needs to be done in a raster editing program, and GIMP is free. You can get it at GIMP.org. So let's show you how to do this. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I have two files here. I have a cow um, JPEG with text. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And then I also have a file open, a cow PNG with text. Okay, and I'll open that. All right, so let's start with the JPEG. All right. So very easy to do. I'll hold control and zoom in here a little bit. And um, I'm gonna grab my paintbrush over here on the left side. I'm gonna make sure that my top color is white. If it's black or any other color, and you know you do have a white selection here, just hit these arrows and they'll switch. If you don't have a white option, then just click on the color and you know, choose white and then click OK. All right. And then switch that because <laughs> I need white. All right. So then you have a size for your um, little brush tool here and you can adjust that. You can adjust the hardness, um, but normally you're going to want for this the hardness of 100 and whatever size you need. So then you're gonna just paint over this text. It's that easy, and then it's gone, okay? Now, you have two options. You can come here to your text tool, and you can add new text, and I'll go ahead and highlight that because it is white, and I'll change that to red, and choose okay. And then I'm going to also make this probably about 45. All right. Then I can come over here to my move tool. Okay. And I can just move this wherever I want it. Now, even though this is selected, that doesn't matter. Um, when you save it, it won't be. Okay. So then just go to File, Save As. Uh, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Cow JPEG with text dot... JPE. Now the reason that you put the .jpe there is because if you go to select file type by extension, the only extensions you have are the GIMP um, XCF or um, a couple others here, but uh, if you name it JPE and you click save, then it's going to pop up and it's going to say um, you can use this dialog to save this format but use the export dialog so just click on that and then um, click export oh I'm sorry let me cancel that out we need to come here and we need to choose JPEG okay JPEG image export and export okay so then let's say that I didn't want this text all right so I will select it and hit delete and let's say I wanted to crop this cow. So I'll come over here to the left again to my crop tool. And I will just crop him like so. And then, you know, you can move these boxes in the corners to tighten in on him if you want to. And then I always hit enter. And then I'm going to file save as now this one i'm going to name cow jpeg no text okay and again jpg hit enter 
and click on this blue link and click on select file extension and come down to JPEG image, export, and export. Okay, so now I'm going to close this out and I'm going to bring in, I can discard the changes because I've already saved them. So now I'm going to open the JPEG with the new text. Okay, here it is. And then I'm going to open the um, cow JPEG with no text. And I don't see it here. Did I write over it? No. Did I not save it? I saved it. Where did it go? <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's see. Well, let me cancel this out and let me come back here and choose my paintbrush again and paint over this and then I'm going to crop it again. I'm not going to worry about getting it exact. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to file <laughs> uh, save as JPEG, cow JPEG with no text dot jpg enter hit this little blue link select file type jpeg export export close that out and open it again open how JPEG with no text. I must not have saved it the first time. Okay, so there it is, all cropped nice and tight, no text down here. All right, so that's for the JPEG. Now, the PNG file, um, you can just um, remove the text. So let's go to the eraser tool. I'm sorry, my train of thought just left me. I was still thinking about that JPEG. Okay, so um, let's see. I can choose a hard brush, okay? And my size, I can, let's see. I could probably go higher than that, but okay. So now in the other photos that I showed you, um, or videos that I showed you yesterday, I think it was, um, I had cropping where you can crop to content or you can use the crop tool. And for this instance, I tried the um, crop to content, but it didn't, it didn't work. It didn't come out like this. So let me just show you. If I go to file, save as um, cow PNG let's see um crop to content okay and that's going to be jpeg no it's going to be png png and save again come to my extension and choose png image export export okay I'll close this out and I'll discard because I saved I'm gonna go to open and I'm gonna go with crop to content and I'm gonna open and as you can see there's still that space there okay so in this case then you're going to use the crop tool and you're gonna just crop around it and you can get in, you know, as close as you want. And then hit enter. And then file, save as. Uh, this one is going to be cow PNG crop. And then I'm going to change this to, well, let me see if I can get to the PNG. Nope. I can't. Okay, so let me name this cow PNG 
crop.png and click save. Click that little blue link, save by file type. I wish it didn't do that, but it does. So export, export, close this out, discard because I already saved and file open and then call PNG crop. Okay. So that is how you can get rid of text on a PNG or a JPEG and then crop your image or add more text. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or you can find me in one of the two groups that are in the description of the video. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.